You just relax, enjoy yourself, and we've come to worship the Lord together. If that's what's in your heart, say amen. 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 And now, let's welcome back to Souls Harbor in downtown Minneapolis, the Singing Rambos. Fantastic. You're an out of sight audience tonight. And, uh, you know, we don't believe that you have to wait till you get to heaven to get happy either. But I'm glad that I'm a member of the happy folks right here as I walk in this life because just thinking about what's going to happen to me makes me happy. Elmer Cole wrote a great song about heaven. Listen at it. It's called 10,000 Years. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's the song that the holy angels cannot sing. It's about being redeemed, redeemed by the blood of my holy Jesus. Oh, and for at least a thousand years or more, I must simply go to praise His name. preaching on the radio and he said now heaven's not a place it's a state of mind he said you know it really isn't streets of gold or walls of jasper but it's just a state of mind you know he may be going to a state of mind but I'm glad I'm going to a city and I believe the walls are jasper and the gates are pearl and the Lord has built a mansion and got my name engraved on the door Praise God, and I'm glad I'm going. But you know, I wouldn't even want to go if it's going to be like some people think it's going to be. Have you ever really talked to people what they believe about heaven? Some people have really got some weird ideas. You know, they think we're going to float around on little clouds and have little gold halos over our head and strum on little gold harps, and it'll be as dead and dry as our church was down here. It may be that way till I get there. But I'm coming shouting through the gate, worshiping and praising the Lord for redeeming an old hillbilly boy like me and saving me from sin. Jack Campbell wrote a great song about heaven called March Around the Throne One Time for Me. If you should get to heaven before God calls me home, there's one thing I'd like for you to do After you meet Christ the Savior And all your love will see March around the throne one time for me March around the throne where only angels used to try You'll be in the presence of another failing God We'll sing the song of Zion Shout the victory When you see the Savior sitting high upon his throne Oh, what a happy day that's sure to be Oh, what a happy, what a happy day With saints all dressed in robes of white Praise God for victory Then march around the throne one time for me Oh, tell the meaner March around the throne where all the angels used to try Will you be in the presence of the 
when I write a lot, harbor just seemed to stick in my mind. That's a beautiful word, harbor. And I thought of life and the sea of life and the winds and the storms and the turmoil, how we're tossed about, you know, with all kinds of winds of doctrine, the Bible said, troubles. Sometimes we think we'll be, we're going to be defeated and we're going to surely sink. But praise the Lord for the lighthouse. Thank God that the Lord shines just enough light to let us see the banks of the shore. But I want you to know something, that the journey's about over. The voyage has just about ended. And we're just about ready to anchor the old boat. And you're looking at one little hillbilly Kentucky Christian that can't hardly wait to drift into the shores. I've seen the thunder. I've heard it rolling. I felt the lightning, you know, as it flashed. I've heard the seas just turning and tossing. But praise God, we're just about ready to see that it's all behind us. And just not long ago, the captain stepped aboard. And he took charge. And Brother Peterson, he's been guiding this ship ever since. And we may not sing this new song so pretty, but I'll guarantee you it's going to feel fantastic in my soul. He's my harbor in the time of the storm. Do you believe that? Is he yours? Well, praise the Lord. I want you to know I wrote this just for your church and your preacher. Do the song, children. <laughs>
I was raised in a little place called Walnut Grove, Kentucky, population 36. Quite a bit different than Minneapolis, Minnesota. But uh, my mom and daddy used to take us to an old-fashioned country church, just a little old white frame church that sat out on the hill. Didn't even have any seats on the platform at all, no choir. Had this old broke-down piano that sat over in the corner. When they started church, all the saints come and stood on the platform, you know, and they sang during the song service. And that old piano hadn't been tuned in about 10 or 15 years, and it sounded bad. My first cousin, her name was Rowena. She played that piano, and she played it bad. <laughs> we used to pray she wouldn't show up for church till after song service would be over. But this is one of my favorite songs that they used to sing. And regardless of what name you have tacked over your church door, if you're a Christian, it's because grace that you didn't deserve touched and changed your life. Listen to the song, Amazing Grace.
Just to keep right on the bless me. And I said, Lord, just as long as I can feel your presence, doesn't matter about anything else. I said, Lord, just let me feel your presence. Give me another look at Calvary. Let me see the blood. And let me see the scars. Let me feel your tears. And let me feel your pain. Lord. I promised him a long time ago. Yes, Lord.
months ago, Reba came into home one day and, and showed Dottie and I a song that she had written. And she's been writing a lot of songs for the past few years, but I felt like that she really rung the bell for a song for the Rambos to sing. I think it was probably about the greatest subject that you could ever sing about or talk about, the man Christ Jesus. And I want you to listen. I think the prettiest song Reba's ever written, we hope you like it, called Precious Jesus. <laughs> Oh 
Daddy wrote a song a few months ago about my mom, and uh, after we recorded the song, my mother passed away. She was a great Christian. I believe that mothers and fathers are partially responsible for what their kids turn out to be. I think you have to share in the good and the bad from what your children become. And if there's any good thing that I've ever done, it would be because of a praying mom and dad that taught me to love God. My mom was the most unique person I ever met. She had a fourth grade education, but she was exceptionally smart. You know, she had 13 young'uns, and all my life, I knew I was her pet. <laughs> That's right, man. She'd sneak around, you know, around away from the other kids, you know, and tell me she loved me, you know, and she'd slip me, you know, 15 or 20 cents when I'd go to town when I was a kid, you know. Super great mom. 
doing things for me that she didn't do for the rest. But what I didn't know was she made every one of them feel like that, that they were something special. And Daddy wrote a song, and I'd like to dedicate it to all the moms that are here tonight, called The Touch of Mama's Hand. Funny how the mind holds on to memories And my thoughts go back to mama now and then When love was more than just a word I heard somebody say Love was the touch of mama's hand she could kiss away the tears and hurt So no one else could see The little things that always looked So big and bad to me God made the color of the ocean From the blue in mama's eyes Put some magic in the touch of Mama's hand In memory I can see her by my bedside As she gently prayed and touched my fevered brow She cried Oh Lord, it's up to you I've done all that I can There's no healing In the touch of Mama's hand She could kiss away the tears and hurt So no one else could see The little things that always looked So big and bad God made the color of the ocean From the blue in Mama's eyes Put some magic in the touch of Mama's hand God made the color of the ocean From the blue in Mama's eyes Put some magic in the touch coming up and asking me all kinds of questions and sometimes they get pretty rude you know it's not easy being the husband to Dottie Rambo this is true you know because they ask me you know all kind of dumb questions they come up to me and say Buck how come that when Dottie plays the guitar she goes up and down the neck of the guitar all over the guitar and you just get one place and stay there <laughs> I tell them she's looking for what I've already found And then they come up and they say, but where does she get all those songs she writes? If I knew, I'd go get me some. <laughs> but you know, it's nothing unusual for me to come home, you know, after I go down to the office and during the day while she's written, you know, sometimes two or three songs. One afternoon, not too many weeks ago, I came home and she said, I wrote a new song today. I said, great, what's the title? She said, New Shoes. Now, don't that bless your heart? She told me that title, I just almost got raptured, right there. <laughs> but we recorded it, and I think it's a fantastic song. We hope you like it. New Shoes. Well, I heard the sound of angels Coming across the distant hills I hear them calling me away Oh, 
friends now are gathering outside my mansion door. I can feel this earth sort of fall away. So I made my reservation for my final destination. I'm changing my location. Remember I'm mansion in the sky. Gonna wear me some new clothes. Like a shiny white robe. Walk around in new shoes. Get ready to move. Yeah, ready to move. Supper's ready. They bid me come and dine. I'm gonna sit right down and feast at the table with the king. When I see David's making ready his golden harp to play, I can hardly wait to hear those angels sing. When I made my reservation for my final destination, I'm a changing my location. In my mansion in the sky, gonna wear me some new clothes. Like a shiny white robe, walk around in new shoes, get ready to move, uh -huh. ready to move. Well, I made my reservation for my final destination. I'm changing my location to a mansion in the sky. Gonna wear me some new clothes, like a shiny white robe, walk around in new shoes, get ready to move. to smile and easy to say praise the Lord. Convention song, and I want you to smile now and a little further down into it, put your hands together and kind of join in with us. It goes something like this. Some glad morning Some of these happy, happy, happy sunshine morning Well, I said some glad morning uh, when this lab is over. Gonna fly away well, to her land on that celestial shore. Uh, gonna fly away.
Here's a brand new Dottie Rambo song that the ink's not even dry on yet, but we just wanted to share it with you. I think it's a great song. Listen, it's called Tears Will Never Stain the Streets of That City. If I could count the tears that have fallen It would seem like an ocean to me And if my heart were a window you could look through the pain and scars you would see But tears will never stain the streets of that city No reefs of death on my mansion door Teardrops are starting to sing and oh it feels so good I want just the, the music to go way back there to where I can hardly hear it and I want Carolyn just to kind of play along and I want to see how well you sing this when we get to the place where it says cause the heart will never break anymore it's just about all I can do Peggy just to keep them just hollering you know how people used to just holler in the spirit in the old-fashioned Baptist, Methodist, and Nazarene churches? You know how. Some of them still do. That's kind of the way the inside of me feels right now. Well, the heart will never break anymore. What a promise. Praise the Lord. I want you to sing this chorus with me. Wendell, come help us sing it, baby, and I'll feed the words to you. And we want you to sing along with us. Tea. Will never stay the streets of that city. No wreaths of death on my mansion. No wreaths of death 
entitled Yours Until He Comes. Dada Rambo wrote the song Until He Comes, and it's one of my favorites. He has promised us that we would walk through trials and tests and problems until he comes. But these are the things that mold us and make our lives into what he wants us to be. Listen, I, I think one of the greatest songs Daddy's ever written, Until He Comes. some trials that I will never, never up and see him coming back again until he I'll take 
blanket to Calvary. Yes, I will. Until. I feel like I'm walking all alone There'll be dark nights I know I'll cry And I'm sure I'm gonna wonder If I'll ever smile again in the audience tonight when we sing this song just kind of settled you back in the spirit all of a sudden your problems and your cares and troubles go floating through your mind and you start singing maybe to yourself or to the Lord and you say there's a refuge in Calvary aren't you glad there is a refuge praise God I want you just to kind of close your eyes, everybody, and sing just that part. Just kind of say it over and over and sing it out loud. If you really believe there is a shelter and there is a refuge, say it to the Lord, to yourself. And oh yeah, let the devil know that you're aware there is a refuge. Everybody sing now. Praise the Lord. Because there is, there is a refuge. There's a refuge at Calvary. That's his name. Until he comes. Sing it from your heart. There's a refuge at Calvary. He'll solve my problems. He'll solve my problems at Calvary until he comes. Now listen to his promise. He promised to meet us at Calvary.
when I know some wonder comes Big world, your hands of me. I see the stars and I hear the roll and thunder. Thy How great you are Then sing to my soul Savior God To thee Lord, how great you Above all others, how great you are, my soul cries out, Jesus, Savior God, to thee. You are, Lord, how great you are. Then sings my soul, a Savior God, Lord, to thee. You are the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace the lily of the valley and you're the bright and morning star and you're precious and you're great and you're powerful and you're wonderful my soul cries out Jesus Savior how great you are Lord your people can say How great you are Let the church sing the chorus Then I sing to my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art Oh, he's great
presence of the Lord is here. Let's just sing. Let's sing the chorus, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy Bless His holy Holy. I'm a bless His holy name. Let's sing it one more time. Oh.